every home mechanic or home DIYer needs one of these. Revelator Elf. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. So I'm in the middle of this uh, project build of this Rieju Marathon 125cc, uh, and uh, I thought I'd uh, do a series of videos for quick workshop tips. And um, one tip that I'd always say to anybody who's ever undertaking any kind of work, especially when it's with metal, uh, is to go and get yourself uh, one of these. Uh, basically, it's a it's a flamethrower, isn't it? Of course, uh, it's basically just a. This one is a butane propane mixed gas. Uh, you get this from a DIY shop or or anywhere like a plumbing supply shop, of course. Now. If you can do any kind of project build, there's always going to be a nut or a bolt or a bearing of some description that will be seized. And if you've been watching some of my videos on this project build, you'll know that I've come up against lots of these kinds of issues. And what's got me out of trouble really is just by having one of these. I'm able to heat up the the component part and then that either frees up whatever's inside let's say if it's full of uh, old grease or something like that or old grime uh, or it actually expands the outer casing but the what's ever seized inside the metal part like a rod or something or a bolt uh, is still relatively cool so therefore you can just have enough purchase to uh, hammer it out or just undo it with their socket wrench or something so i can't rate this enough really um you know anytime i'm uh, working in the workshop invariably i'll uh, grab this and uh, go and go and uh, go and do stuff you don't have to heat up the metal that much actually uh, now you could use a heater blower of course uh, and i sometimes do that but i've got to say i much prefer using this naked flame it's a lot hotter and it gets the job done uh, a lot better in my opinion so you could go for the heat gun something like that and yes that will heat it up as in a more gentle way but something like this i would always recommend so yeah, if you're watching some of my videos and possibly you can see the swing arm there on, on the side there, I've just put the bushings in and this uh, this came in handy as well. But top tip, get yourself one of these uh, gas bottles and flamethrower thing and just light it up. And away you go, that's it. And then heat, heat up, whoa, <laughs> heat up uh, to your heart's content. Right, that's it, on to the next video, but don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, check out the website, revelatorelf.com, and all the series of videos which I'm doing right now on this uh, Reissue uh, Marathon 125 project build. Ta-da.